Hello everyone, back to again to today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video, so this is your month head look ahead, taking us into January, we go into the second half of January with the uh, month head look uh now, so we're going to have a look at the JMA and CFS B2 models, see what they're both showing for um, the uh, coming month, over so the rest of December and into uh, January, then uh, later on this afternoon, we'll have your regular week to 10 day video update, that will include all of the latest on the sudden stratospheric warming that we've been talking about over the past couple of weeks. So hang around for that this afternoon and uh, it'll be with you a little bit later on. But starting us off is JMA Friday. So we're going to have a look at the uh, 500 middle bar height and flow charts from the uh, JMA, first of all. And then we'll go on and have a look at the CFS uh, V2. We'll compare, uh, we'll compare the two. Uh, so this is the uh, 500 meter bar height anomaly uh, flow chart from the JMA from the North Pole view down. That's the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. Middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere around there. Uh, this is broken down into week periods. So the first weekly period will take us from the 21st through to the 28th of December. The brighter colours, yellow, red and orange, extrapolating to above average heights, high pressure, the darker colours, blue colours, extrapolated to below average heights, which is low pressure. So in the uh, coming week, we've got above average heights extending from the north and down into southern parts of Europe. So a large ridge is covering much of central and western Europe with low pressure down here and also over top of the pole. It just means we're basically under an area of high pressure. So a lot of quiet weather coming up over Christmas and relatively mild too. This is not in a position to produce anything particularly cold other than kind of like inversion cold. If high pressure is centrally located, we might get frost and fog but uh, otherwise this is generally quite a mild air mass that's been brought up from uh, southern uh, parts of the Atlantic and from southern Europe too. Then we go through into week two and this takes us from the 28th of December through to the 4th of January and the high pressure fest goes on so we keep this big ridge of above average height centered right over top of the UK. High pressure is in control of the weather with below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic and it means the flow and the jet could be going something like that. So we're under a large ridge of high pressure. Now that could be a little bit colder. We've cut off that southerly, southwesterly supply of air. And so you could possibly get frost and fog coming a little bit more widespread with that as we go into the new year. The model will almost certainly say milder than average. But down on the surface, it's one of those situations where we're probably quite mild aloft, and that's what the model is seeing. But down on the surface, due to the time of year, you could easily radiate uh, the um, the warmth out into the space very out into space very quickly and generate frost and fog. And then we go through to weeks three and four, and it really is all changed. This takes us from the fourth through to the 18th of January, and all of that high pressure suddenly goes away. We have above average heights over Greenland and also extending towards Canada, with below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic and coming into the UK like that. Now, this is going to be a cold signal for eastern parts of America. Cold air will be plunging down from Canada into eastern America. For us, the jet stream is kind of like going through there. So we are almost on the cold side of the jet stream. But the block, blocking air of high pressure, just in slightly the wrong position to produce cold air into that trough of below average heights. So I suspect this will be cooler, will be very unsettled. Um, but not overly cold from that situation. You would want to um, build up the above average heights more over Greenland and the central part of the Arctic, really, to start to pull down cold air into that trough of low pressure. Or you would want to build up a ridge over Scandinavia, and there's no sign of that either. So more unsettled and cooler, yes, into January, but no signs at the moment from the JMA of very cold conditions in January. This is the tropical and mid-latitude view. So the British Isles is just here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. A reminder of the uh, week one, 500 millibar high down, with just lots of high pressure close to the country from the 21st to the 28th of December. Over Christmas, we see very anti-cyclonic conditions. Really mild temperature anomalies, way above average 
most temperature anomalies of the UK and for most parts of Europe as well. Much of America also looking very mild over Christmas. It's going to be a really mild Christmas for many of the populated areas of the Northern Hemisphere. And also quite dry. Precipitation anomalies are coming out drier than average over Christmas from the 21st to the 28th of December. Mild and dry holds sway. Then we go through to week two, which is the 28th of December through to the 4th of January. And we centre that area of high pressure almost over the top of the UK. So a big ridge building over the top of the UK. And it's still coming out with milder than average temperature anomalies for this week um, over the new year. So still above average with the temperatures. A little bit less so compared to week one. I do think because of how that high pressure is kind of like centred over the top of the UK, we will probably have a greater chance of generating cold conditions on the surface, frost and fog on the surface underneath that centrally located area of high pressure. So that could be frost and fog around the new year. And of course, with high pressure centred over top of the country, still very dry as well, much drier than average as we head into 2019. And then week three and four, it's all changed. So we find that we have this uh, area of low pressure, but average heights then moving into the UK. Jet stream is probably a little bit to our south, but it isn't an overly cold scenario. The uh, blocking feature looks like it's more centred around sort of uh, eastern Canada and Greenland, that kind of area. So a western-based negative NAO, perhaps. Uh, so temperature anomalies are cooler, but they're still a little bit above average during weeks three and four, going from the 4th to the 18th of January. And obviously it's much more unsettled again as well. So precipitation anomalies after that initial bout of high pressure over Christmas and New Year, precipitation anomalies are going towards uh, being above average. Bear in mind, it would only take a very slight adjustment to start to pull much colder air into that trough of below average heights. And, uh, of course, it's a two-weekly anomaly. It's weeks three and four, so it might be a little bit transitional as well. Maybe something like week three is more unsettled, not overly cold, and then week four is unsettled, but actually a lot colder in week four. So, and that would be kind of like the middle of January. So we we'll always have to keep that in mind with a two-weekly uh, anomaly. This is how the CFS V2 is looking. Now, the CFS hasn't updated uh, for today, unfortunately, so I'm um, not sure what's gone wrong. It probably will update later on this afternoon, but these are the charts that I showed you uh, in yesterday's video in terms of the 500 millibar height anomaly. So the week one 500 millibar height anomaly looked like this yesterday, 20th to 26th of December. Above average heights to our south. The ridge extends through the UK and Western Europe up to a ridge to our north. So we have got a bit of a normal blocking signal, actually, in the weekend. But it's not in a position to do anything cold, actually. We're bringing up relatively mild air from uh, the south and from the southwest. Then we go through to week two, and it looks like this. So very similar to what the JMA is showing, actually, almost identical, with the high pressure then becoming centred over the top of the UK. The model will still say mild from the 27th of December to the 2nd of January, but because the high pressure is, like, centred over the top of the country, that could well produce some frost and fog if the sky's clear. Then we go through to week three. It's the third through to the 9th of January and we get that area of above average heights setting up then towards Greenland, so a blocking signal coming along below average heights underneath it. The jet stream is going down there, so it's more unsettled and potentially becoming colder as well. And then we go through to week um, week 4, which is the 10th to the 16th of January, with the above average heights then around Greenland, but also extending back into Canada, below average heights to the south. Uh, we're very close to pulling really cold air into that trough of below average heights and is a cold signal for much of eastern America as well. So more unsettled and certainly hints of blocking and colder conditions from the CFS as we move into uh, January. Week 1 temperature anomalies from the 20th to 26th of December are above average, a mild of an average week coming up over Christmas for the UK and for much of Europe and for most parts of America as well. So really mild uh, week ahead. Then we go through 
to week two, which is the 27th to, 20, to the 27th of December to the 2nd of January. Above average temperature anomalies again for the UK and for most parts of Europe as well in week two over the new year. Week three temperature anomalies are still milder than average, above average temperature anomalies in week three. And then week four, that is still above average with the temperature anomalies as well. So the CFS for its temperature anomaly is not seeing any sign of um, anything particularly cold coming up. This is from the 10th to the 16th of January, still well above average with those temperature anomalies, not just for the UK, but for most parts of Europe as well. Precipitation anomalies looking like this, but week ahead is generally close to average or drier than average, hinting at being rather dry, really, for most parts of the country, I think, from the 20th of December to the 26th. Uh, also dry on average in week two, which is the 27th of December to the 2nd of January. That's uh, a dry on average week also. More unsettled in week three. Uh, you'll notice that for northern parts of the country in week three, it's actually hinting at being a little bit drier than average. And to the south, it's hinting being a little bit wetter than average. So you would expect the jet stream to be uh, along here somewhere, go to our south with high pressure up here. It looks a bit odd, but it would be so mild in that kind of a situation, uh, I have to say, for week three. And then it goes on into week four, also looking above average with the precipitation in week four. Normally, by this point, the signal is weakening away, of course. But uh, week four, from the 10th to the 16th of January, is coming out substantially wetter than average, particularly for England and Wales. Though it is very dry out to our west northwest. That's all the high pressure sitting up to the northwest. And so, again... It is quite hard to see why it should be so mild if we've got high pressure sitting here, low pressure is down here. You would expect the jet stream to be through there somewhere and you would think we'd be pulling in uh, at least cooler northeasterly winds. So it does look a little bit odd, but it would be so very mild. Uh, but there we go. That's what the CFS is forecasting or what it was forecasting. Uh, yes, as I say, the CFS hasn't updated, unfortunately, for today yet. I suspect that will be uh, coming along quite shortly this afternoon. But, but uh, I ran out of time waiting for it uh, to update for, t for this morning. So um, that's how they're both looking. The uh, JMA and the CFS indicating a lot of high pressure over the holiday season. Christmas, New Year likely to be dominated by high pressure. Then it looks like we go more unsettled into early January. Hints, certainly from the CFS, maybe from the JMA a little bit too, hints of some high pressure beginning to build to our north, somewhere close to Greenland. So unsettled, yes, and maybe colder as we go into January, although signals for cold temperatures are pretty much non-existent on this particular update. But then it's very early for that. It does take... These more do have to be dragged kicking and screaming uh, towards cold temperature anomalies. So... Read between the lines, I think it's mostly dry and quiet for Christmas and New Year, unsettled in early January, then possibly hints of something a little bit colder as we go further into January, and still quite unsettled as well. Right, so that's how JMA Friday is looking for, uh, for this week. We'll do it all over again next week. JMA Friday will continue um, next week as Friday next week is kind of like in that no man's land between Christmas and New Year. So there's no reason not to do uh, JMA Friday next week. Uh, also, coming up later on today, we're going to have your week to 10 day video update. So come back for that uh, then. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.